What's up and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to successfully connect your Xbox 360 controller to your PC on any of the Windows. Now, if you have Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, the procedure will work as long as you follow the video step by step. What do you need? So we need two things. First up, we need an Xbox 360 controller and that needs to be a wireless controller. So we have two right here. One is for the Xbox 360 Elite and one's for the standard Xbox 360. And the second thing that we're going to need is a wireless Xbox 360 adapter to PC. So this is the one that, that you will need to plug into your PC in order to, in order to connect your uh, Xbox 360 controllers. Um, over. Now this could be either a genuine accessory or it could be a third party. This here is a third party uh, product that I've purchased from eBay which looks and functions exactly the same as a genuine accessory uh, but at a much cheaper cost. So if I recall correctly I purchased this around three years back now and it was for the price of five pounds. Now I'm going to have a link in the description so you can actually purchase this adapter here as well just in case you don't have one. Now, next up is the connection to the PC itself. It's not as simple as just plugging this adapter into your USB port and expecting this to pick up the driver and update accordingly so that you can make the connection from the controller to the PC. Uh, what we'll need to do is we'll need to take an extra step here and we'll need to go into the device manager and carry out a driver enforcement. So let's, let's go on first of all and try to um, attach the adapter to the PC uh, right there using the uh, USB port on the front I.O. Okay, so we can now see that I have the adapter plugged into the front I.O. of my PC um, as we can see right there. The next step is to actually go into Device Manager. On, on Windows 10, we're going to hover down to the taskbar right here and right click on Windows logo and then click on Device Manager. Once you're in Device Manager, you'll notice that there is something called other device and something within that as unknown device. This unknown device is the Xbox 360 wireless adapter that we have currently plugged into our PC as we can see right there. So we're going to go ahead and first of all power on our Xbox 360 adapter, uh, Xbox 360 controller, sorry. Um, so we're going to plug the power pack and we're going to switch it on. From now we can see that it's waiting to be paired uh, onto um, the PC itself. So there is no, there's, there's currently no connection between the controller and the, uh, the wireless adapter. Uh, so what we're going to do next is go back to the PC and where the device manager is. Within the device manager, we're going to right click on unknown device and we're going to click uh, scan for hardware, update driver, sorry. And then we're going to click on browse my computer uh, for driver software and within here we're going to say let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and then within here we need to scroll down uh, to the part where um, where you might notice something to do with an Xbox accessory uh, let's see so we have yet yeah, so here we have Xbox 360 peripherals so we're going to click on that and we're going to click on next and then from here you can choose any of these um, and it depends entirely on what type of connection uh, you're, you're doing to the PC itself. So right now we're trying to do a connection on uh, the wireless receiver for Windows. So we're going to click on this one right here and we're going to go uh, next and it will give you this warning right here which you just need to click on yes and now you can see it says that Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows has successfully been updated. Um, Device, yep, yeah, right there at the bottom, we can also see that the device Xbox 360 controller has completed setup. So we now have the wireless adapter that we previously plugged into our PC uh, successfully recognized by device manager. So we're going to go ahead and click on close right here. And, and we're going to look back into the device manager. Now at the bottom, you can see that it has picked that unknown device and replaced it for Xbox 360 peripherals and the unknown device is now Xbox 360 wireless receiver for Windows, which is correct, which is what we have plugged into our PC um, at this moment. So we're now gonna go ahead and, uh, actually we don't even need to do any sort of pairing. If, if you might've noticed, whilst we did the device setup, the controller already picked, uh, was already picked up by the wireless adapter plugged into it. Um, so there we go, that's the uh, Xbox 360 setup for um, any, any of your Windows uh, on your PC, so whether that would be Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, or Windows 10. 
Um, the setup is just as simple as following this video step by step as, as I've shown. Um, I mean, should you run into any issues, please feel, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll try my best to get back to you as soon as possible. I will also have uh, a link in the description uh, for uh, if, if you would like to purchase one of those wireless uh, Xbox 360 adapters. Um, now, one last thing before um, I end the video is I'm going to show you um, playing maybe one of the games just to see that you can actually use the 360 controller once it's plugged in um, and it's uh, set up uh, you know correctly on the windows that you can actually play a game with it so i'm just going to pause this until i launch uh, a game and for demonstration purposes we'll be running gears of war 4. okay there we go we now have gears of war 4 launched and we'll be using our xbox 360 controller which we just connected using that wireless adapter to the PC right there. So I'm just going to show you a little bit of gameplay using the Xbox 360 controller right here. Okay, there we go. So the Xbox 360 does work with uh, any of your PC games as we've just demonstrated. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video and if it has helped, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for further videos. Uh, and until next time, peace out.